Hello viewers, this is Phoenix Nova. I'm here with a 10 minute hardware review of Turtle Beach's EarForce Z7 gaming headset with microphone. Let's take a look at what it looks like first and then we'll talk about what it can do. Here's the headset itself. Headband is quilted and has a good cushion on it. It's also adjustable with a pretty solid click that really stays right where you set it. The ear cups rotate a bit for comfort and will even rotate 90 degrees for easy storage. The speakers themselves are 50 millimeter drivers capable of surround sound. Around them is an easy to clean vinyl ear cups that have a great cushion and don't pick up too much dust or hair. The very nice thing is they do seem like they are held on with elastic, might be removable, so you might be able to get replacements if they're damaged. Now, the non-removable cable end here ends in a PS2 type connector, and we'll get to that more in a minute. Also, this right here is for the removable microphone. Now, a nice feature for customization is the removable speaker shields on each side. I found that they're not too difficult to remove. Sometimes I use a small paper clip. And they can be replaced with shields that you purchase, or perhaps those that you got at a recent event. Now some of the other items that come with it are the unidirectional microphone. Now you do have to be careful, there's a small cutout piece here that if you do not align correctly when you're putting it in, it won't make full contact and it'll actually seem like the microphone isn't working. <clears throat> also is the breakaway cable that attaches into either directly into your mic port on your computer or into the amplifier box. Now this is nice because the breakaway cable does fit directly into this 9-pin here. Uh, it comes apart easily if a pet comes by and grabs the cable. And it's easy to put back in because there's a small ridge that you can feel and just by feel you can line it back up and get it back in very quickly. Also coming with it is a, another breakaway cable that you can plug in. And this one is actually a cell phone adapter. It's got a three and a half millimeter four pull plug and it even has an answer button right here. And this works great for both microphone and headphones for your cell phone. The other cables that come with it is a four pull to four pull 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable, which comes into play with the amplifier box and a nine pin connector for connecting into your PC speakers. And again, that's for the amplifier box. Here we have the amplifier box. It has a nine pin connector in it, which will connect to this cable, allowing you to connect directly into say your speakers. It also has a USB port that will plug into the computer. I tend to use just the USB port. It takes care of all my needs quite nicely and all the functionality that I need, and I find it's a little bit easier. Now the amplifier box itself has a nice large volume button right at the top, as well as a mute button up here. But it's actually not a button. This and the rest of the keypad is all capacitive touch sensitive. You have a number of things being able to adjust your surround sound, as well as these numbers down here allow you to load in different audio presets. Now those presets could be how you hear the sound, such as making footsteps more audible, uh, more in the higher range, or amplifying the mid range so chat's easier to hear. Also, they will also change how your chat voice sounds. So you can compress your voice, cutting off more of the highs and the lows and try to get it more in the mid range. You can also, increase the pitch of your voice, making it much higher, or even making your voice much lower. Now the headphones connect through the breakaway cable right to the center of the amplifier box. This hole off to the side here is actually for auxiliary, and that's where your auxiliary cable comes into play, where you can plug from that directly into your cell phone. This allows you to listen to music without it coming over the microphone and interfering with the rest of the chat. In fact, you have a separate volume control 
for that auxiliary music, as well as a volume control for your mic monitor. Now this is really handy. I haven't seen this in a lot of other things. And what that allows you to do is hear yourself through your headphones. So instead of getting that muffled, disconnected sound that you would normally hear when you got headphones covering your ears quite solidly like the easy cup ear cups would, you'd be able to hear your voice a little bit so your just sounds a little bit more natural. Also on the side, you got a nice power button that is able to turn this whole system on and off. On the other side, you have another volume for the third connector, which is a game connector, and you have your mode switch. At the other end of the amplifier box, you have a connector that can go from out from here to the rest of your speakers. So this would basically sit in between your computer and your speakers in some configurations. So what do I think about this headset? Well, it's got a lot of features, a lot of good functionality. It is able to connect to your PC, to your phone. You can connect it up to the Xbox or the PS4 with another adapter box, which is not sold with this particular set, but you can purchase it separately. It's got a good sounding mic, great sounding, nice, loud, 50 millimeter drivers. Even when just plugged up to a phone, it has good, clear sound. I also like the removable mic for the times that I really am not using it. I also like the rotatable ear cups that allow it to fold flat so it can be stored easily. And I like the customization of the ear shields themselves, allowing you to get your own look and feel with very minimal effort. So what do I not like about it? Well, for one, this capacitive keypad sometimes is a little finicky and won't register my touches on it. That's kind of embarrassing when you're trying to mute really quickly. But for the most part, it's worked fairly well. Another thing is that this headband is extremely tight, uh, which can be both good and bad. If you're a glasses wearer, that might not be all that great. That can become painful after a while. Uh, but it's also good because it feels like a good thick piece of metal in there that is not going to give way early. I found that it's very easy to compensate simply by adjusting the size with the side adjustments to a little bit bigger than you would think, and it takes care of all of those problems. And finally is the microphone. Because of the small cutout that is right here on the edge, that has to be aligned perfectly when putting this mic in. And that's not so easy to do if you have the headphones on. If you do not get that out in the right place, your mic will not make the proper connection and it will cut out on you. I had a couple of problems with that before realizing that that cutout was there, which also prevents it from rotating. Now with that being said, as long as you insert the mic correctly with that cutout in the right place, you won't have any problems at all. Now because this is a fairly full featured set, it does come with a price. And Turtle Beach products, by their very nature of being high quality products, have a cost associated with them. Now the nice thing is, is you can watch their site and occasionally they'll even have flash sales even on this product itself. Even if you pay full price for this, I think you get a lot of bang for the buck. You've got the excellent microphone and headset combination with the customizable shields. You've got a number of different cord options, both from connecting this to your cell phone and using it as a headset for your cell phone, as well as using the amp box, connecting in a music device to be able to get a little bit of music while you're playing with a fully adjustable separate volume control. Even the amp box itself comes with a removable belt clip for those that are on the go. And being a pet owner myself, I really appreciate the quick breakaway cables. In the end, I highly recommend this headset. It's good for gamers, people that want to have a little bit of personality or customization on the outside. 
even those that just want to be able to have the convenience of having the mic monitor and listening to themselves a little bit more naturally, or even the auxiliary sound being able to come in and adjust that volume accordingly with their gaming. That's been my review of the Turtle Beach Ear Force Z7 headset with microphone. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe or like below. This has been Phoenix Nova, signing off.